Dear international students, welcome back to Full Scholarships. Today we have a new scholarship video and this is from Canada. It's a Canadian scholarship and we will discuss about how to get in 2022 and 2023, how to discuss about uh, getting in these universities. These are fully funded scholarships and how to apply for them, how to register and we will discuss it in a detail in a few seconds but before that please do subscribe to our youtube channel if you have been watching our videos previously but have not subscribed yet please do subscribe and like this video to get to this scholarship of canada you can check the link in the video description it is mentioned there click on the link it will take you to this page here similarly you can follow us on instagram our username is full scholarships link is also mentioned in the instagram bio and you can click on that you can also message us on instagram or just comment down below video that i need the link if you can't find it in the description but before commenting or messaging us on instagram please do subscribe to our youtube channel as we easily find your data now once you land on this page here on the website is just in the best way is just check the video description link is mentioned there once you land on this page you can read the details that you can study in fall intake as well as in spring intake of 2022 and 2023 sessions so you don't need eyelids to study or gre to study in at uh, this time canada and we have some list of fully funded scholarships, Canadian scholarships to study on. Before that, we have some basic details here. And the scholarship country is Canada. Degree level that you can cover under these scholarships are bachelor's, master's and PhD degrees. Financial coverage is fully funded and deadline varies throughout the 2022 session. So on the first our list is University of Saskatchewan. It's a Canada university. And they have the scholarships for 2022 and the intake is open and here you can check you can apply that for applying to this saskatchewan university you can visit here on this red button given below for more information click on this visit here button just click on this visit here this will take you to our website again as we have previously separately made complete video on the saskatchewan university how to achieve the scholarships and how to fill the application and a deadline for this saskatchewan, saskatchewan university scholarship is first of the may 2022 so you can check duration of the courses that you can pursue there on the scholarships and scroll down at the end there is the watch video button and apply here button if you do want to watch before applying you can click on this watch video and we have complete application process with video demonstrating step-by-step -step guide on how to apply this Saskatchewan scholarship to apply just click on this apply here yellow button here once you click on this apply button it will take you to the how to apply page of the official university of Saskatchewan website once you are on this page, you can read this step, find a program. On the second number, there is apply for admission. And if you are ready to apply, you can scroll down a little bit and there is an apply button given mentioned in the green color. Just click on this apply button here. Once you click on that apply button, it will take you to the login page. If you have previously logged in here or you can use the same details. If you are here for the first time as an international student, just click on this create an account and then sign up using email and generate a password. Then verify it from your email and once you verify it, you will get this email and the password. Then use the same details and so use the same details and just click on this sign in button here. So let me wait for a few seconds so that page reloads and takes us to the login page. And let's wait for a few seconds. Here you can check I have successfully logged in and you can check I have previously started some of the applications to demonstrate how to apply and still there you can check the applications fall term application spring term application and on your account you will have nothing showing there so you have zero applications if you are applying for the first time to begin the application click on this start application here on the top menu and it should take you to the course page so that you can select the course and what do you want to apply for so if you are applying for undergraduate choose the undergraduate course here and other courses are mentioned also so then are you current uh, or a returning student of this university so i am not so select no are you a canadian citizen so i am not just no then click on this continue button and it should take us to the next page of online application here you can check choose the academic level i am applying for the undergraduate and choose the entry term when do you want to start the course so i am choosing for the fall that september of the 2022 click on this continue button then and it should take us to the next step of the application and here you can check 
202 to fall term university of saskatchewan in the saskatoon campus main in the canada so you have to fill the six steps of this application first is the brief applicant information choose the first name last name family name permanent address your country country code phone number and then click on this save and continue once you are done with this click on the biographical information now in the biographical information you have to fill the gender date of birth martial status country of citizenship choose the country where you are from it these details must be submitted according to your passport as it will be verified once you are in the selection process then self declaration so if you have any other disabilities you can submit that then click save and continue and it should take you to the next step of the application portal here you can check english proficiency if you have the ielts you can submit that however if you have completed previous degree in english you can complete that select that and save and continue on the next step so it should take us to the next step so let's wait for a few seconds as it completely depends on your internet connection so now you have to submit the academic history so are you previously applied to this so if you have previously applied you can say yes or no and then continue so for the first time you might have not applied to this university you can select no and then continue i were you so if you were homeschooled you can submit that and you should know what homeschooled means so you have studied at home but have not attended any institution so you have no institution experience so you should select no and yes accordingly if you have the institution experience you can select yes and then continue and then click on this save and continue filling all the details so have you completed the previous degrees now plan study of program what do you want to study in this so i have chosen the undergraduate choose the admit type so i am new high school student directly if you are here for the if you don't have the experience of the university you can select that i am a high school student and current or fresh graduate then if you have previously attended any of the colleges just choose the last attended university or college so i am choosing that first college program so choose the degree whichever you want to study here and all the bachelor program are mentioned here so in my case i am choosing this arts and science bachelors of science as international course now scrolling down choosing the campus when which campus do you want to complete so i am choosing the main campus and then select and save and continue now on the next step you have the additional information have you been required to withdraw program any reason so if you have been expelled from the previous institution or have the any of the cases mentioned here just choose that correctly and do not submit the or do not copy the information from this video as i am just de demonstrating the process to you these are only for the educational purpose now i agree do you agree to the information provided to certify do you agree and comply with the university regulations choose the first name and just have the signature or full name you can say then signature date and then click on this submit application so you can preview it before submitting and it should take you to the payment page if you have this code how to get this waiver code you can simply email the course director or course hod and ask him for this wave of code submit that code apply that code and then you will have no application fees to be paid here in this manner we have completed the application process of this saskatchewan university for the undergraduate course similarly let me take you to the other page now on the second you can check montreal university we have already made video on this you can check the canada playlist next on the third is university of toronto and these were in the high demand from the international students we have completed video on them and you can check in the playlist as now the york university canada we have not made a video on this so i am choosing the step 4 to show you as we have 2 3 4 already made now in the step 4 just choose the york university click on this visit here button so it should take you to the future students in the york university now click on your application in the top menu and choose how to apply once you click on that how to apply it should take you to this page in the how to apply you can check are you planning to a graduate program returning to you and just choose the first option graduate program now on the how to apply you can check there is a sub menu and the third number there is apply now 
So click on this visit Apple now for more information. Click on this link here. Once you click on that Apple now, it should take you to this page. Now on the first step, you can check, click Apple now and follow instructions. Just again click on this Apple now mentioned in this line. It's a link. Once you click on that, it should take you to this app application form. This is for the graduate application. Similarly, you can choose for the undergraduate. Now just choose the title. So you have to complete the steps. Let me show you how many steps there are. So you can check there are seven steps. So you have to fill first name and identity, goal of the study. What do you want to cover in this? You are going to density and language, then address and the contact. What was your previous academic? So you have to enter the previous education, then demographic information, which country or which where do you want to get in from this? Which is your home country and how to get the visa and their details are mentioned there. At the seventh point, there is declaration and the concert. Just fill these steps one by one, like your first name, last name, common name, gender, date of birth. So I am just demonstrating you how to fill this. I won't be filling this application completely. Just showing you how to fill the details as you might be familiar with the interface. So now just the email address then click on the next so then goal of study what do you when do you want wish to study so i am choosing for the fall so i am choosing for the full time course then i wish to study towards a degree graduate diploma or a visiting student so i am choosing the graduation then choose the course post graduate course then you can check when the deadlines of these courses are it these are also mentioned click on the next page so choosing the engineering there is 15th february deadline so i am choosing this msc then click on the next and the third you have the citizenship choose the first language i have the english then choose the english language of correspondence what is your official stats so there is no stats currently for me so then click on next in the next you have the email sorry this address street address zip code phone number postal code then click on the next then choose the country of your academic previous education so you should enter that detail and then click on the next on sixth step there is the demographic information do you identify yourself as a first nation so we have not any of the stats of that then have you previously to i had not applied to york then click on the next there is a declaration then just click on this agree and then click on the submit so you have to complete these details and then you have to fill all these details and in this manner you can easily complete your uh, application form and then just click on this submit application i hope you understood this process and like this video if you still have any doubt you can just comment down below the video or just message us on instagram before messaging or commenting down please do uh, recommend it it's recommended that just subscribe as we easily can find your query and answer or team can answer your questions i am signing up for scholarships Please subscribe. Have a nice day ahead.